Hey, 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 what's up, y'all? It's me, LSP. Good Thursday morning to you, my friends. Or Friday, juniors. We call it over here on LSP Productions. How are you? Hmm? Let's get right at this. Have you heard the country music trap song? And if you didn't know, my favorite genre of music is country. I love everything about country. Second favorite is rap and R&B. So, when I heard there was a combination of this, these two genres, I had to hear this crossover song. Yeah, I'm gonna take my horse to the old town road. I'm gonna ride till I can't no more. It's like, what? So I immediately went to iTunes, downloaded both versions of the song. Yes, there's two versions. Okay, so I'll give you a little backstory on this song. It came, it was a viral sensation started by Lil Nas X. He, um... Combined, it was a meme competition. So he used a Wild West video game and he stitched these clips together and he had the music to go along with it. And it's called Old Town Road. Well, like I said, it went viral and then it started making its way up the Billboard charts. It was on um, the um, hot song list, hot R&B. Then it made its way to the country countdown and it made it up to 19 or 15 don't quote me on that i mixed fives and nines up so it made it up to made its way up the country music chart well all of a sudden it was removed hmm? yeah they removed it because it said it didn't embrace enough of the elements of country music to be considered country music now of course people immediately began to cry racism well i mean the country genre isn't known for black people being in it. You got Charlie Pride, Darius Rucker, Don't Call Him Hootie. And um, so, yeah, we there's not a lot of color in the genre, but I love, love country music. So, Lil Nas X decided he would tweet Billy Ray Cyrus. The, the power of the tweet, y'all. So, it. long story short, the two of them got together, and it's now number one because he added... Billy Ray Cyrus. This song, I just think is fire, as the kids say now. And, it, you know, it's funny, as I was reading an article, people were like, it's the Billy Ray Cyrus. Either you know him as the man from Achy Breaky Heart or <laughs> you know him as Hannah Montana's daddy, right? So, that's Billy Ray singing on the song. Same song. Add credibility to it is the question that people are asking. I like it. I like both versions, like I said. Um, being from Nashville, being a part of the country music scene, I would be lying to you if I told you I had not experienced racism. Uh, one night I was working the Country Music Awards, and I was backstage because we had downtime, and we were actually, no, it wasn't downtime. We were watching the um, red carpet, and my small sister can attest to this. This man looked me right in my face. Older white guy. Old white man. Let's just put it that way. Looks me right in my face and says, what are you doing here? I was taken aback. I looked him right in his face and said, same thing you're doing here, sir. He didn't say another word to me. But um, it's time to change country. It's time. Do the crossovers, you know. I mean, Snoop Dogg rap is uh, singing with Willie Nelson on one of his songs. You had the Run DMC, Aerosmith. I mean, crossovers are going to happen. So I'm out here supporting you, little Nas. If no one else told you, that, I'm out here in Nashville, Tennessee, loving the song. All right, y'all. Well, that's it. I just wanted to share that with you. The interstate's right up here. So I'm going to get on it and get to work. I'll see you tomorrow for Let's Go to Work. Have a great day. You're awesome. As always, no fear and no regrets. Another one bites the dust, and another one gone, and another one gone.